Hello church family, good to see you again. I uh, wanted to give you an update for this weekend specifically, so this will be a, a pretty short pastor cast, but I uh, wanted to let you know, as some of you may already be aware, there was a press conference by our governor today just to update everyone on the status of reopening here in California. Um, it wasn't our super encouraging um, press conference. Uh, they're still looking at uh, months before things really are starting to change in any way uh, based on how they're reviewing the data and the information that they're looking at and putting out uh, publicly. But we want to give you um, an encouragement about a change that we're going to be uh, making well, really an addition that we're going to be making here in regards to Sunday morning services. Um, as most of you know, we are allowed to meet outside, but our facility doesn't really allow us to do that well. But what we've decided to do is starting this Sunday, uh, we're going to be setting up 50 chairs in the courtyard for our 9 a.m. service so that on Sunday mornings we can have 50 people here that are worshiping together uh, live. Uh, obviously, it'll, we'll still be streaming the service because not everyone can be here. Um, but we will be setting up a television and some speakers out in the courtyard area so that we can have 50 chairs out there with 50 people uh, gathering together for worship. We'll still be uh, practicing social distancing and ask that you bring your mask with you and whatnot, but um, we are going to present that as an option for uh, 50 people each week to be able to do that. Um, the way that will happen is via a registration. You should have already received an email about that and about what we're going to be doing. Um, you'll need to follow that registration link if you'd like to sign up to be one of those 50 people. Now, one of the things that I would ask you to do is to be considering the needs of others ahead of the needs of yourself as you're, as you're going through the different uh, the, the weeks of this. And uh, sign up for maybe one a month or so. Um, that will give everybody that was planning to come back um, on the earlier side to church an opportunity to hit one of those services. That'll give us about 200 people during a four-week stretch that could uh, could head back. But if it's, you know, Saturday night, 11 o'clock, Sunday morning, 7 a.m., and there's still spots available and you want to snag one of those, I would encourage you to feel free to do that. But... Um, uh, please do uh, take advantage of that if you are able to and you would like to be able to, to meet here and gather. Uh, it'll be just a service outside. Um, we'll have um, some information that we'll be updating you on in regards to that if anything changes or if uh, we add to that or subtract to that in some way based on any other changes that may go on within the context of the county. Um, right now, the county hasn't said anything different than what the state is doing um, they're still encouraging us to follow state guidelines. If the county switches, we'll let you know. But uh, for now, we'll just keep it as it is unless we have to uh, make some adjustments. Um, one other thing I want to let you know about today is just to, by way of reminder, we are following very closely the uh, case between L.A. County and John MacArthur's Church, Grace Community Church down south. Um, they are scheduled to have a hearing this coming Friday, a week from today that will hopefully produce uh, some type of a verdict. And uh, I would encourage you to be praying about that. Be praying that God will be merciful to his people and that there will be a good ruling for not just their church, but really for all churches in the state. And that it would be a very positive and very encouraging ruling for us. Um, but be prepared in case it's not. And in case it goes uh, a different direction and it's ruled in favor of the county and what they're doing, um, we have to be prepared for that too. And to uh, just take whatever, whatever comes with this whole fluid situation and try to do what we feel will be the best thing for us here as Grace, at Grace Bible Church uh, as best as we see fit. So be praying for us as elders to continue to do that. We do need your prayers. Um, this isn't just an easy, you know, one meeting decision. Um, part of this is difficult because of the fluidity and the way that things change. Um, right now it's hard because things haven't moved anywhere up until today. And today there wasn't really any movement in regards to churches. So that was discouraging. Um, although if we drop down as a county into a lower level of uh, what they're considering um, uh, danger, uh, we will start to be able to have in-person services with 100 people inside again. 
um, and that only increases as the county gets better. So pray for our county too, that we would get out of the, the worst zone. That's where we are right now is where they call it the purple zone. That's terrible. It's offensive to me, but I'll get over it. Um, we're in that, in that worst category. If we drop down into the next category, we will be able to have a hundred people inside again. And then if we drop to the, the next lower category, we can have up to 200 inside. So pray that things go well here in the county, uh, because that would bode very well for us uh, being able to meet together again as well. So although it wasn't a super encouraging press conference, um, I hope that's some encouraging news for you that not only are we going to have 50 outside, but at some point, hopefully in the nearer future, uh, we'll be able to start meeting inside again. At least that option is, is there. And so we may be able to do that again as well. I want to encourage you also, um, just please remember to be loving and gracious with each other. Um, as I've said before, uh, we have people in our church that are all over the map in regards to how we're viewing this situation, what people are thinking, um, just concerns that we may have, fears that people may have, frustrations that we feel. Um, be loving and gracious with one another. Um, this is not something that should cause division within the church. This is not something that we should be fighting over. This is something that we need to be understanding with one another and above all, really seeking to love and honor Christ as we interact with one another. Uh, even when we have differences of opinions uh, and differences of how we would uh, handle something or what we would want to do and, and whatnot. So be practicing those things with each other. Don't forget that the Lord is on his throne. He is still ruling. He always is. And he does whatever he pleases. Uh, remember that the word tells us that that kings will have their, their plans made, but the Lord's the one who holds their heart and he sways them just like you would, he would move water in a stream. So be mindful of that. Remember that. Pray to our God. Ask him to be merciful to his people. Ask him to, to get us back together and to be able to do that safely and in a, in a way that is uh, not only healthy and helpful physically, but more importantly is helpful and adds to our health spiritually. Okay, so that's all I have for you today. Like I said, a little short one this evening. Um, hope to see some of you on Sunday morning. And uh, if not there, maybe Sunday afternoon. Um, watch your emails. Um, be registering for Sunday morning if you'd like to be one of the 50 in the courtyard. And uh, we'll see you later. Take care. Bye-bye.